Hundreds gathered at the Cathedral of Mary, our Queen, for the funeral mass for Cardinal Keeler, who died last week at age 86. They held these programs that include photos and quotes from the Cardinal. There was music and ritual prayers for the man who headed the Archdiocese of Baltimore for 18 years before retiring in 2007. Cardinal Dolan, the Archbishop of New York, gave the homily, saying he and the Cardinal shared a love of church history. Archbishop Bishop William Laurie of Baltimore celebrated the Mass. Let us not forget William Cardinal Keeler in the days, the months, and the years that lie ahead, even as we remember his friendship and his achievements. Let us not forget to love his soul. Archbishop Laurie thanked the Cardinal's family who were sitting in these pews for giving him to the church and to the Little Sisters of the Poor for giving him wonderful care in his final days. Following the funeral mass, the Cardinal's body was returned to the Basilica to be entombed under the high altar. Susan Shapiro, News 8. Well, the Susquehanna Valley is also saying goodbye to the Lebanon County native. News 8's Barbara Barr continues our team coverage. She's live from a Catholic church in Lebanon. Ron, a service for Cardinal Killer will be held here at Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church in downtown Lebanon. It begins at 7 tonight. Ironically, Cardinal Killer's last public visit to Lebanon was right here at this church in 2010 to celebrate its bicentennial. And when you walk inside, there's a montage of photos of Cardinal Killer throughout the years that will greet you. He grew up in Lebanon. He went to St. Mary's School and then later Lebanon Catholic School. His boyhood friends say he always had a calling to go into the church. In fact, he left Lebanon Catholic before graduating because he wanted to get to the seminary. He was also an Eagle Scout and friends remember him as an evangelist. They say that's part of his legacy. The fact that he reached out to those from other religions, Protestants and Jews alike. And also, of course, his renovation work at the Basilica in Baltimore, where we saw that service today. So a lot to remember tonight for Cardinal Keeler. He died last week after a lengthy illness following a car accident about a decade ago, but mourners will be coming here for the service that will begin at 7. We'll have coverage of that, of course, later tonight on News 8. I'm Barbara Barr, live in Lebanon for News 8. Also, WGAL will be live streaming the Mass on WGAL.com and the WGAL app.